So this is interesting. I've never heard of this. Um, Canna Health and Heaviness in chats asking uh, the Alpha 420 decarb oxalator from Detroit. Is it a credible product to use to decarb? Happy gardening to all. I've never heard of it. Let's just know. go blind on it. I mean, decarboxylization is not a really complicated fucking thing to do. There's it's just a matter of time and it. temperature, you know, and how reliable is the thermostat setting in this that you're using? And then which of the 500 different numbers are you going to use with time and temperature variables to decarb something? Yeah, I mean, you'd have to look, find all that stuff. I mean, I've seen, yeah, devices that look I a lot like I assume it's this that. thing? Sold out. Correct? Oh, cool. Like so a, it's a local magic button. This is 78 pounds? What the fuck? What? That's a heavy ass. It's got thing. a microprocessor in it and everything. So it's, it's, it's like very much like a magic. Dude, how big is it? It's 130 bucks. So it's 50 cents a pound. <laughs> <laughs> does it say the dimensions? <laughs> it only does it ounce. It does it ounce. Oh my How's god. How's it so heavy? That's too Holy small. It's gotta be a typo. No way. Yeah, it's gotta be 7.5 or some shit. Yeah, it's gotta be. <laughs> decimal or some shit. No, it does look cool though. It looks kind of similar to like a magic butter. It's or a very, it's a, that's identical to a magic butter machine degrees. for me. Except, look at, look except at the picture. Magic butter does not decarb in this. No, nose. but look at the wait, go back sequence. The picture that's where huge. it shows the down, uh, the immersion blender in it. That's exactly what the, uh, what it is. Oh, did it have a, why would it have a blender? Because that's what the magic butter machine does. Yeah, it, does. it only that runs. It yeah, runs for like thirty that. seconds, and then it <laughs> turns off. Fuck that machine! No, I was not worth the machine. It's not worth it. There's oil, it's butter, and tinctures. It's, it's a magic butter machine. Why would you blend your all your shit? That you no, no. I say no. Is it for blending or is it for stirring? It's or for stirring. It for stirring. It, but it's it's an immersion blender it's at the bottom. Herb so it and it's under on. heat. It's going to be brittle as fuck. You're going to be beating the fuck. You'd be like blending your herb. Fuck that. No, that is not Spartan approved. <laughs> Love it. I will say that the price is cheaper <laughs> than a magic butter machine. Yeah. For it being the same functionality. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that it's a local company too, so if you correct. Got to between the two. That was kind of the goof factor on the magic butter also was the whole decarb thing. Like if you forgot to decarb or didn't. Then you pretty much did all that for nothing. No, like, no, 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 not at all. See, that's what it really sucks about this is everybody has gone on this train of like, you got to fucking decarb, man. No, listen, you're yeah, only Scobo. Tell doing decarboxylation yeah, yeah, yeah. if you are trying to make it psychoactive. If you are trying to make medicine for somebody, you will find that whatever the acid strain of it, if it's a THCA, it's going to be better for inflammation and everything else. You break that acid chain off, it's not as good for inflammation. You do not need to make it psychoactive. It's not quote unquote junk and should be thrown away if you forgot to do a decarb. It's, you know what I mean? You're just, well, all the decarb yeah. boxes is it's just rough breaking the like, acid off. Right. Yeah, I guess right. That just you could take your, your you could take your fuck. This is seriously, this is me just fucking being real. I take a fucking, a giant fucking pot, like stock pot, and I shove as much fucking trim as I can put in there. And then I put a fucking lid on it that's got a tiny hole so I don't have like explosion. And fucking throw that in my oven and fucking put it at, you know, 220 and cook that, you know, 230 and cook that bitch for an hour on the convection setting. And I decarbed it for nothing. I was spend a hundred and some fucking dollars for something that's gonna blend my fucking weed up? No. It's gonna break, it's gonna have fucking all the fucking, everything's just gonna leak all over each other. It's gonna taste like fucking chlorophyll. Nah, I'm I telling you, just fucking it's... just do it in the oven yourself, and the flavor is gonna be better. Then the ovens could be inconsistent temperature. That's what I was saying in the very beginning. Is well, what I do have a convection oven. I have right. a convection oven, so it has those fans that makes it so that it does have even temperature. That's a great point right there to start. Yeah, you so know, a dollar I think not working those, uh, those tin pans with the tin cover for a dollar. Dude, get, get that with a roasting bag, you know, like a turkey roasting bag. You put that turkey roasting bag around whatever you're going to use. I oh, wouldn't use oh, a, an aluminum foil that's thing. A pro tip right there. I use a Just glass. Me. I'm earning that dollar fifty nine, baby. That's that's what Chad keeps telling me. That plastic bag is such a big tip for people. It, it's not going to smell. So you're just going to basically. I use like a, a, a nine by nine Pyrex. I toss my bud in there. If I'm going to do a decarb, I don't break it up. I don't grind it. I just put it in there. I wrap the bag, put the bag around it, 
take one of my green wire ties that I have from the garden anyway, just pull a little bit off, tie it off, we keep reusing this bag over and over. We don't have to keep throwing shit into landfills, you know. And then, you know, like I was saying about time and temperature, the way I came up, I know that the number doesn't matter and the time doesn't matter really. I'm just going to say I've always done 240 for 40. Um, people do it less, people do it more, people do it longer, people do it shorter. It's not like there is a, a make or break decarb point. It's, you know what I'm saying? If you, you can do more temperature, That's you can do scale. less time. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to decarb mine in the oil. I've seen it pop up in chat a couple of times. Like I like to do mine like I'm just in the process, during the process, like rather than turning on the oven and going through that extra process. Like it is, it works, you know, it works, but I, I'll just toss mine in the, in the pot, you know, in the double boiler and I'll just do it for an extended period of time. You know, I'll, I'll give it like a good six hours, sometimes four, six, eight hours, depending on the material. How much material? Yeah, you know, sous vide. Yeah, Basically. but I've I've done I've done the uh, the extraction with RSO, um, just you know, a, a double boiler and like a rice cooker and stuff like that, <clears throat> uh, and got it out to where when I got it lab tested, uh, PSI Labs, there were no acids left. It was all, it was all converted to THC. Um, <laughs> so I'm assuming it's fully decarb at that point. So, um, I I don't know. Maybe, maybe more testing and more processes, more experimenting needs to be done. But, uh, I, I, you know, like it just depends on psychoactivity, I suppose. How, how have you, either way you're getting, either way you're getting the THCA, THCA in your body, you know? Yeah, I, I believe you can do it with a low temp if you just go longer, like you're saying, right? Or you can yes. do it with a higher temperature and just shorten the duration, et cetera, et cetera. I'm pretty sure it can be done at room temperature in a long period of time. I believe that regular flour decarbs itself just store in storage yep oh, it breaks down <laughs> that's that time side of things rather than the temperature we're dealing with time right that's time what i'm wondering is uh like so how long you guys think just flour or trim sitting out um before it doesn't need a decarb session where we just can't throw it straight in the butter and yeah. get a mostly activated product i still have some abolished og hanging around somewhere that i could pull out those that's probably those completely decarbed everything you would have is already decarbed scobo <laughs> Exactly. Thank you, Dad, for backing me up on that shit. For that H and got old hash for me that's well yeah, decarved. Reggie, you know. Oh, I hate goodbyes. <laughs> uh, Lloyd. Shh. Push the goddamn button! No, she's here.